Short positions worth $35 million are teetering on the edge of liquidation. And the network? It's processing transactions faster than Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin combined. So why is nobody talking about this? Because most people are still sleeping on what's actually happening beneath the surface. But you're not most people. You're here. And by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why Caspa might be one of the most undervalued plays in crypto right now. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I break down crypto projects with real data, no hype, just facts and analysis that actually matter. If that sounds good to you, smash that like button right now and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this. Now let's get into it. Caspa is trading near 0 0.08 as I'm recording this. On the surface, that doesn't sound particularly exciting. But when you start digging into the on-chain metrics, the network performance, and the liquidity structure, things get interesting fast. According to recent data, short-term liquidity is stacked all the way up to $0.0088. On the downside, there's some support sitting between 0.074 and 0.072. That's a tight range, which means volatility is brewing. Now here's where it gets spicy. If Caspa pushes to 0.09, nearly $35 million in short positions could get liquidated. That's not a small number. That's the kind of setup that can trigger a short squeeze, where sellers scrambling to cover their positions push the price even higher. We've seen this play out with other altcoins before, and it never disappoints when it happens. But beyond the short-term price action, there's something deeper going on with Caspa. The technology itself is built differently. The network is fast, ridiculously scalable, and genuinely easy to use. Yet the price sits at $0.08. Cents. That disconnect between utility and valuation is exactly what I want to explore today. Because if the fundamentals are this strong, the market might just be late to the party. Let's talk whale activity for a second. Wallet number 3 by total holdings, just climb back to the number 2 position. How? By adding 48 million Caspa tokens in one move. And these coins didn't come from nowhere. They came from Bybit and Gate.io, two major exchanges. When whales pull tokens off exchanges, that's accumulation, that's confidence, that's someone betting big that the price is going higher. Meanwhile, Casplex Layer 2 just crossed 100,000 transactions on the Caspa network. Now, 100k might not sound massive compared to Ethereum or Solana, but remember this is still early. The network is young. As it matures, we're talking about the potential for millions of transactions per day. That's not speculation, that's the trajectory based on current adoption trends. But here's the tension. Despite all this activity, despite the whale accumulation, despite the growing layer 2 usage, Caspa is still trading at 8 cents. The market hasn't priced this in yet. Which means either the market is wrong, or I'm missing something. And from where I'm sitting, the market is sleeping. So what makes Caspa different? Why should you even care about another proof-of-work blockchain when we already have Bitcoin? Great question. The answer is block DAG. Most blockchains process one block at a time. You mine a block, confirm it, then move to the next. It's linear. It's slow. Caspa doesn't do that. Caspa uses a system called block DAG, which allows multiple blocks to be processed simultaneously. It's like opening multiple checkout lanes at a grocery store instead of making everyone wait in one line. According to network tests, Caspa can handle up to 10 blocks every single second. That translates to more than 5,500 transactions per second. And confirmations? They happen in less than a second. Compare that to Bitcoin, which takes 10 minutes per confirmation and handles about 7 transactions per second. Or Litecoin, which does 56 TPS with a 2.5 minute confirmation time. Even Dogecoin, which is faster than Bitcoin, only manages 30 TPS with a 1 minute confirmation. Let me put this in perspective. Caspa is processing transactions nearly 800 times faster than Bitcoin. That's not an incremental improvement. That's a fundamental shift in what's possible with proof-of-work technology. Some analysts are comparing this to what Solana did for proof-of-stake networks. Caspa might be doing the same thing for proof-of-work. And if that comparison holds, the price implications could be massive. In my opinion, this speed advantage isn't just a technical flex. It's a real-world utility unlock. Instant merchant payments become viable. High-frequency DeFi trades become possible. Gaming microtransactions, enterprise-level applications, all of this becomes feasible on a proof-of-work chain 
without needing layer two band-aids or massive block size increases. Current network activity is already showing signs of momentum. Caspa transaction volume has exceeded bitcoins by more than five times on certain days. It's outpaced Litecoin by 14 times. These aren't projections. These are current stats. Mining participation is expanding. Exchange listings are growing. The infrastructure is being built in real time. Now, some of you might be wondering, why hasn't the price reflected this yet? That's the million dollar question. My take? The market is still focused on proof of stake narratives. Ethereum's transition to POS, Solana's speed, Avalanche's subnets. Proof of work has been painted as old tech, slow and inefficient. But Caspa breaks that narrative. It proves that POW can be fast, scalable, and efficient without sacrificing decentralization or security. A well-known crypto analyst recently pointed out that Caspa's design solves the blockchain trilemma better than most layer ones currently operating. It's decentralized, it's secure, and it's scalable. That's rare. Most projects pick two and sacrifice the third. Caspa seems to have cracked all three. If that holds under scrutiny, the current price of 0 0.08 is not going to last. Speed has always been a deciding factor in technology adoption. Faster internet connections transformed how we consume content. Faster payment rails changed how we move money. Faster blockchains will reshape how we interact with decentralized systems. Caspa offers this speed natively, without needing complex layer 2 solutions or off-chain workarounds. That makes it efficient, scalable, and ready for mass adoption. Given all of this, a price of 0 0.08 feels disconnected from reality. If Caspa adoption continues to climb in payments, DeFi, and gaming, the utility alone could drive significant price appreciation. We've seen this playbook before. Projects like Chainlink, Polygon, and Solana all traded at low valuations before the market woke up to their utility. Caspa could be in that same early stage right now. One more thing. That 35 million in short liquidations I mentioned earlier, that's not just a price target. That's a potential catalyst. If CAS hits 009 and those shorts get squeezed, the momentum could carry the price much higher. Short squeezes don't follow linear paths, they spike fast and hard. And if that happens while whale accumulation is still ongoing, we could see a significant breakout in the coming weeks. Look, I'm not here to promise you moonshots or guarantee returns, but I am here to show you where the data is pointing. And right now, the data is pointing at CASPA. The technology is solid, the metrics are bullish, the whale activity is undeniable, and the price? Still sitting at 8 cents. If you found this breakdown helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button. It helps the algorithm push this video to more people who need to see it. And if you want more deep dives like this, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. I've got more videos breaking down altcoins, market cycles, and on-chain analysis, so check those out next. Seriously, go watch them. You'll thank me later. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Quick reminder before you go. This is not financial advice. Cryptocurrency is volatile and risky. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Do your own research, think critically, and never rely on any single source, including me, for investment decisions. Stay safe out there.